Welcome everybody. Today we are in Jingguashu, one of the coolest little towns in New Taipei City. A very historical town and a very interesting place. We are now at the Gold Museum and we're going to explore Jingguashu and see what we can find here. Let's hop right into it. So for only 80 kwai, you can enter Jingguashu's Gold Museum, which is a great way to start off your trip. On the first floor, you will find exhibits on the history of the mine, including the history of POWs in the area. You will also see exhibits on the logistics and construction of the mine. Up on the second floor, things get a lot more geological with a focus on various minerals, stones, and resources that are found not just in Jingguashu, but in mines all around the world. One of the main attractions of the museum is a 220 kilogram gold bar that you can touch. The museum also offers a gold panning activity that you can take part in. Sadly, the timing for us didn't work out, so we will have to try next time. However, if you have tried it out, I would love your review in the comments. What did you think of it? After you finish touring the museum, you can head on over to Benshan Tunnel number five. Waiting in line to go into Benshan Tunnel number five. 它才宽的一个过程。If you want a real understanding of the mine, there is no better way than to actually enter one of the tunnels. We are now in Binshan Tunnel number 5. Really cool in here, so much cooler than outside. This tunnel has been fitted with small exhibits, figures, and sound design that helps explain what it might have been like for the workers who worked here in days past. Admission to Binchon Tunnel number 5 is 50 kwai and will be a great addition to your trip. After you exit the tunnel, you can head directly up toward Jingguashu's old Shinto Shrine. Built by the Japanese in 1898 to worship three separate Shinto gods, it now stands as a reminder of the area's history. And is a decent little hike up, not gonna lie, quite a few stairs, but don't worry, the views are worth it. We are now at the Shinto Shrine here in Jingguashu at the top, and it gives you a really awesome view of all the stuff that's going on. You can see the temple down there, you can see our Minsu, you can see the POW Memorial Park, you can see the ocean. Just a little bit of a hike and really convenient to visit right after you exit the tunnel, Binshan Number no. 5 Tunnel. Let's go down and explore more of Jingguashu. Towards the bottom of the mountain, you can find several other museums and exhibits. I really enjoyed the small exhibit showcasing what Chi Tang Old Street was like in its heyday, notably mentioning that it was once known as Little Ginza. There are also several old Japanese buildings that have been renovated and preserved to showcase the Japanese architecture of the time. Most notably, the Crown Prince Chalet, which was originally built for an intended visit by then Crown Prince Hirohito. However, it seems as though he never made the trip. And sadly, in light of renovations, it seems we won't be able to either. I do remember from past trips that it is quite a nice restoration, so I hope it will be open when you visit. Next, it was time to pass through town to visit a more somber side of Jingguashu's history. We are now at a small POW memorial park that was dedicated to the mostly British prisoners of war that were captured over in Singapore and Malay and brought to Taiwan during World War II in 1942 the first allied prisoner of war arrived to taiwan in all there were 15 pow camps in various places on formosa we headed back towards t tang old street and while it isn't the little ginza that it once was i do feel that now its quiet nature is what gives it so much charm Walking through the streets of Jingguashu now, it's really reminding me of the streets, the cultural village in Fushan or in, in Busan, Korea. Uh, a lot of similarities, but this is a lot more quiet, a lot more peaceful. Maybe it's a weekday, maybe it's luck. 
but let's keep going. We're now arriving at Chue Jing Tang, a really cool temple with a giant statue. We're gonna figure out who is this guy, this giant statue. He's at the very top and he's humongous. I don't know the Mandarin name, but Bua Bui is a way to ask the god a question. Or maybe you have something you want to do, like studying abroad, or maybe you say, will I fall in love this year? Will I get this promotion this year? And you have a situation where one side up, one side down, yes. Two sides up, no. Two sides down, no. So who is this statue who sits on top of the temple? Turns out it's Guanggong or Guangyu, a general from the Three Kingdoms period of China nearly 2,000 years ago. Today he is known for his loyalty and righteousness. The statue of Guanggong weighs over 25 tons and is one of the largest of its kind. When visiting, don't be afraid to ask the staff any questions. They are very friendly and seem genuinely happy to share their knowledge of Jingua Shi. <laughs> If you're looking for a mean suit to stay overnight, I would recommend Jingua Shi Yi Bing Yi. They had really comfy accommodation and delicious food. Most importantly, they are very centrally located right in the middle of town. Now it's time to use the motorbike to show you some places a little further off the beaten path. We are now at Bu Yan Ting, which has become a popular photo spot between Ruifang and Shuangxi. Bu Yan Ting not only is the perfect place for a car commercial, but also offers wonderful views of Mudan Valley and the surrounding mountains. Here in the mountains up near Jingua Shi, you can find some old historic trails with some interesting little tablets along the trail. For example, we have something over here. Not much now, but it was from 1851 apparently, and it was basically Taiwan's first environmental uh, act saying, don't cut down the trees here. In fact, there are a few different historical trails up in these mountains many with old tablets, inscriptions, and reminders of the past, and some even going as far as Elon. Now we're at Jingua Shi Ben San Di Zi Gong Yuan, exploring this top of the mountain park and seeing what's going on here. One of the cool things you can do in Jingua Shi. Now, Ben San Di Zi Gong Yuan is simply just a fun park to walk around and explore, and there are some great views to be found here. However, if you want to find even better views, try your luck at neighboring Teapot Mountain, a very cool hike overlooking Jingua Shi. Check out the video here for more information on Teapot Mountain. Now that we've explored the top of the mountains, let's head down towards the coast. To and of course, there are great views along the way. Now we are at Huan Jing Kudu, a really cool little waterfall, and kind of just a spot to stop by really quickly, take a few pictures, admire the waterfall. I actually really like this waterfall. It has an orangey feeling from all the dirt, sediment. Some places online say it's because of the pollution from the mines. I don't know. It's a little, uh, people are going back and forth on that, but really nice view. Why don't you take a look? So we're just finishing up in Jingua Shi. I know Jingua Shi is a small town, but it actually has a lot to offer. A lot of cool, interesting little things, great for a day trip or even an overnight stay, especially if you can rent a motorcycle. And actually, we're headed to Zhou Fen at a coffee shop, so I will leave you with some nice views of Zhou Fen. And until then, our last stop is 13 Levels, Yingyang Hai, and I will see you in the next video. 
Before we finish, here are some honorable mentions. First, there is a nice restaurant near Guanxing Pupu named About Cafe. If the weather is nice and sunny, it makes for a really good lunch stop or coffee break. You might even be able to catch a little glimpse of the falls from the restaurant. Next up, while technically not in Jinghuashi, there is a very nice sunset view to be found up the road at Shenao Elephant Trunk Rock. So if you have a motorbike and are willing to drive up a few minutes, I would recommend it. Thanks for watching and here are those rainy Jofen views I promised. See you next time.